Hi, I'm Evangelist Josiah Martin. In the Gospel according to Mark, chapter number 8 and verse number 36, we hear our Lord make the statement and then ask the question, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and yet lose his own soul? Probably that's not the first time you've heard that verse quoted or made reference to in your life. It's somewhat of a widely known verse. But the question you may have often asked yourself is, what does this mean to me? And I'd like to unpack that a little bit if I can here today. First, I'll start off with the individual that doesn't know Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. What Jesus makes this initial plea to is the reality and the truth that apart from Jesus Christ, this life that is compared to but a vapor, very short, very brief, and full of trouble all too often, means nothing in the light of eternity. So when Jesus asked the question, what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world? There's no doubt that as you're watching this video, you have some degree of ambition in life, even if it's apart from the things of God as a non-believer. Even though you're not a Christian, you have ambitions and goals and things that you want to accomplish. You have something that you're chasing. And apart from Jesus Christ, he makes the statement, if you gain the whole world, and probably I'm not talking to too many potentially world-dictating folks, but if you did and you took over the entire world, all of the globe, all of the money, all of the land, all of the real estate, the manpower that comes with that, the buildings, the knowledge, if you gained it all, and then you lost your own soul, it means nothing. Because in light of eternity, your life and the things that you're pursuing pale in comparison. You see, what you've done when you do that is you've taken the temporary and you've traded it and traded off eternity for it. So basically you've said, I'm going to hold on to what, for a little while, what I can't keep in the long run and I'm going to sacrifice all of eternity. So for the lost man, the one that doesn't know Christ as your Savior, my plea to you would be that of the plea of Jesus Christ, and that is to take your eyes for a moment off of what is temporary, off of the money, off of the job, off of the car that you drive, the bank account that you're trying to build up, the retirement that you're planning for, the possessions you're trying to get, the status that you're trying to obtain, the influence, the popularity, whatever those things might be. Take your mind and your eyes off of those for just a second and place them on 30 seconds after you take your last breath. As morbid as it may be to say and, and to think about, there is coming a day when all of us barring the return of Jesus Christ, are going to taste death. We're going to close our eyes for the last time. Our lungs will quit sucking in oxygen. Our hearts will quit beating blood through our bodies and we will die. 30 seconds after that, it doesn't matter what kind of car you drove. It doesn't matter how much money you had in the bank. It doesn't matter how much people thought of you. It doesn't matter how much influence you held in their eyes because now you're dead. Those things are gone. And what you're faced with is not a long time not a very long time, you are faced, my friend, with eternity. And what you've done with Christ and his gospel is the only thing that really matters.